the world was ours. When we endorsed the Sustainable Development Goals, when we signed off with enthusiasm the COP21 agreement, when we agreed on the financing for development objectives in Addis Abeba, and then years later, it's not as obvious. Momentum is kind of fading a little bit, and we start to understand what are the gaps. Everything which is connected to governance is actually very important. There are public-private cooperation initiatives which are totally going nowhere, and it's not because the idea is bad, it's just because it's poorly designed and poorly governed. If we don't structure it, if we don't prepare the people, if we don't have the right type of money, the right type of governance, the right type of management, it's a recipe for disaster. To put public and private and civil society together is not obvious at all. They suspect each other of being bad, and so you really have to explain what does it mean to work together. So we want to emphasize more on governance and management of this, but also training executives, training people from NGOs, organizations. We really have to think not about reinventing international governance, but revamping or re-engineering each organization the way they work together. But we should again be very realistic. It's not going to happen naturally. We have to make efforts, and these efforts have to come from many different places. And I think it's also something that would help the acceptance by the rest of the world of these institutions, which sometimes are regarded as a kind of the elite talking to the elite and don't understand what's going on on the ground. If we want to be up to what we sign, we have to do a lot of work.